Thank you very much for joining me again for Amazon Sellers News. We have three huge stories for Amazon Sellers. Amazon employing the language from the new terms of service between Amazon and sellers. More sellers operating and growing like traditional businesses. And our third breaking news story, inauthentic listing suspensions are up and I'm going to provide the top five things you need to have on your invoices before you submit them to Amazon. And I want to let Amazon sellers know that a lot of the information that we have comes from cross-examining Amazon witnesses at arbitrations. So stay tuned throughout this whole program. The last story is what you need to know to deal with inauthentics and how to look at your own invoices. Okay, first breaking news story. Amazon is now employing language from the new terms of service, your new contract with Amazon. The new contract that Amazon imposed upon all sellers on August 16th, 2019. And here's some sample language from the latest email that you need to be concerned about. Dear seller, we have discovered information that indicates your Amazon seller account has been engaged in deceptive, fraudulent, or illegal activity. If you receive this email, Amazon does not tell you what you are being accused of. It doesn't tell you what fraud they think you engaged in or what deceptive or illegal activity you're being accused of engaging in. But this is a very, very serious email that you receive. Your account could go down. Your entire business could be closed by Amazon. And we have heard of certain situations where there could be some possible criminal liabilities. If you receive this email, take it very, very seriously. It's quoting language from the new terms of service where Amazon freezes, suspends, holds your money, holds your inventory, and all sorts of other bad stuff. So you're not necessarily dead in the water, but you need to take it very seriously. And if you want to learn more about the specifics of the new terms of service, visit our YouTube channel. We are creating videos for each and every paragraph of your new contract. We're about halfway through the agreement. Okay, breaking news story number two before we get to inauthentics, more sellers operating like traditional businesses. Now, this is a really, really great thing. If you're selling products and you don't have corporate protection, you should. You can create a corporation with a phone call. We use a company called Blumberg in upstate New York and they make it that easy. With a single phone call, Blumberg can create your corporation. Insurance policies. Liability insurance is required by Amazon and it's good business. Also, by doing things, by creating contracts with your factory, by formalizing your relationships, by treating your Amazon business like a traditional business, you create something with value. If you have your own brand, if you're a private label seller, create an IP holding company, intellectual property holding company, so that you can protect your intellectual property rights from an entity that is different from your seller's account. So the breaking news and the good news that more and more Amazon sellers are doing this. They're creating corporations, engaging in contracts, they're getting insurance, and they're just building assets that you own. I think that is just absolutely fantastic. Third breaking news story, the increase in inauthentic listing suspensions. Inauthentic is still by far the number one cause of account suspensions and the number one cause of listing suspensions. Now, the reason the increase in inauthentic listing suspensions can be seen in a positive light is that we're seeing fewer account suspensions based upon inauthentic. And as any Amazon seller knows, it'd be better to lose a listing than their entire account because you're still getting your distributions and you're still doing business. Now, good news also, if you have invoices, these have been very, very easy listing reinstatements to win. And I want to go through the top five things that you should have on your invoices, things that you should search for on your invoices before you send them into Amazon with your plan of action. Okay, number one, quantity of units. The quantity of units on your invoice should match nearly to what you shipped into Amazon or be more. You can clearly buy more products and sell them on your own website through other channels, but your invoice should not have less quantity than you sent to Amazon. Your price per unit, 
Now, you may have read in many places that Amazon allows you to redact the prices. Do not do that. We have learned a lot through arbitrations and cross-examination. Do not redact anything at all from your invoices. The date of your invoice, the date of your order, and more importantly, that you actually made payment for the products. If your invoice does not indicate the products were paid for, Amazon looks at it like a purchase order, not an invoice. Number four, delivery date. You want to make sure the delivery date makes sense with regards to sending in to FBA or delivering to consumers if your merchant fulfilled. You clearly don't want your invoice to have a date that post dates when the products were sent to Amazon. Last in the top five, the address. You want the address on your invoice, the address to you to match the address on your Amazon account. If at all possible, you want everything to match up with your Amazon account. If you could have the name of your Amazon account on your invoice, that is the best of all. Now, if you go to AmazonSellersLawyer.com, AmazonSellersLawyer.com, and you go to our blog and you put in the word invoice, you will see dozens of articles, videos, and webinars guiding sellers as to what your invoices should contain and what your invoices should not contain. And make sure if you are doing your own plan of action supported by invoices on an inauthentic, it is concise, persuasive, and well-documented by your invoices. Thank you for joining me for today's Amazon Sellers Breaking News, and I'll be on again this time tomorrow, providing Amazon sellers with information from our 10,000 foot view from helping thousands of Amazon sellers around the world every year and helping to get tens of thousands of listings reinstated. Thank you very much. Visit our YouTube channel. Visit AmazonSellersLawyer.com.